Greetings folks, in this video I'll show how to set up the uh, telemetry display for the little exact servos on OpenTX. Okay, I have set up uh, three servos on F port 2 on the Archer M Plus. Uh, telemetry on screen now we have the elevator, the rudder and the aileron servos. Uh, current actual current and maximum current here so let's see how we go if we wiggle everything around let's give it a bit of a strain there we go we can see the current at uh, only 0.1 amp has been up to 0.2 amps 0.3 there we go so that's the elevator have to sort of resist a bit to uh, get any readable there we go and to 0.3 so the actual current uh, doesn't really show much at all but the maximum current does actually there we go the maximum I can get really is 0.3 amps on each one anyway that's a very interesting and now I've changed these ones to the temperature uh, so the bottom row I haven't renamed them yet but uh, that's still the ailer on there so we're on 15 degrees if we wiggle it a bit we should see temperature change 15 16 17 there we go let's have a look at the rudder which is down at 9 degrees 11 12 14 yeah, so that's working in the telemetry screen you just have to make sure uh, you've discovered all the sensors there's the elevator servo rudder servo all I've done is is renamed uh, renamed the servo here just change one of the letters so I know which one is which you could go through and rename every one of them but i um, being a bit lazy here aileron servo there And then in the telemetry display screen, you choose uh, whichever you want. Uh, say elevator current, minimum, maximum, voltage. Let's have a look at voltage. Should all be exactly the same voltage, you would think. Have a look at the screen, 4.8 volts. Does the voltage drop if I wiggle them? Yeah, it does. There you go. Looks like it's time to recharge my uh, battery pack. Now to see how to set up all of this telemetry and how to set them up for F-port operation, have a look at my previous video, the uh, review of the ex exact servos uh, goes through all the different screens. One thing I have to note, um, the Lua script for configuring the servo on this radio seems to be a bit hit and miss. Sometimes it works beautifully straight away, other times it takes uh, a few minutes before it will populate all of the uh, items on the screen and you can only have one servo connected at a time to do the configuration let's, let's see how we go there with that servo it shows up quickly for some reason no,